My name is Josh Grossman, I'm the Artistic Director for Toronto Downtown Jazz and we are so thrilled to have you here supporting live jazz music this year in person. Thank you for being, yes! <laughs> this year the festival celebrates its 35th anniversary and our continued success would not be possible without the ongoing and generous support of TD. Title sponsor and official bank of the festival, TD has stood by us over these past two years reaffirming their commitment to supporting live music. We'd also like to thank the Ontario Lottery and Gaming Corporation, who are the presenting partner of the OLG First Plays, the Yorkville Royal Sinesta Hotel, the Blue Yorkville BIA, Mill Street Beer, Taylor Flagate, Tanker A Gin, and Yamaha, Yamaha Canada Music, and our media sponsors, uh, our media partners, the Toronto Star, Jazz FM 91, and CP24. Vital support has also been provided by the Department of Canadian Heritage, the Canada Council for the Arts, the Ontario Arts Council, and the Toronto Arts Council. And we would also like to thank our, our Yorkville partners for their support, including the Greater Yorkville Residents Association and the ABC Residents Association. Please, a hand for our generous sponsors. For up to the minute festival information, follow at Toronto Jazz Fest on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and use hashtag TD Music. You can also visit our information booth just over there in Village of Yorkville Park, pick up a brochure, or go online to torontojazz.com. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce Claire Hopkinson, Director and CEO of Toronto Arts Council and Toronto Arts Foundation, who will be our MC for this evening, and will tell you a little bit about why we're here. Thanks so much, Josh. I'm totally delighted to be with you here live and in person at the TV Jazz Festival after such a long time. Thank you so much. So, this afternoon and evening, we are welcoming not one, not two, but three of our most recent winners of the Toronto Arts Foundation's Emerging Jazz Artist Award. This award has been made possible by the incredible wonderfully generous support of Cheryl and Manuel Bookwald. The Bookwalds have been, yes, applause for the Bookwalds. They are here. There. Thank you. You know, because you're making it possible to celebrate and highlight these exceptional artists. And this is so important in this city of arts that we have. Um, you're going to actually hear from all three recent recipients and I can promise you, you are in for such a treat. So, first off, we are kicking things off with a bass player who has established himself as a mainstay on the Canadian jazz scene. Named the 2019 Emerging Jazz Artist of the Year, or Emerging Jazz Artist of the Toronto Arts Foundation, his accolades as a bassist and composer include the 2014 Grand Prix de Jazz from the Montreal Jazz Festival with Priam with Pram Trio and the 2021 Juno Award for Vocal Jazz Album of the Year with Sammy Jackson. Wow! He has released two albums under his own name and regularly performs and records on both electric and double bass with a variety of Canadian jazz artists including Kelly Lee Evans, Barbara Lika, Sammy Jackson and the Toronto Jazz Orchestra. Please welcome with a big round of applause the Mark Godfrey Quintet.
going? It is nice to be back. This is this is cool. Uh, my name is Mark, and these are uh, these are some friends of mine. We released a record in uh, February 2020 before. Uh, well, these were some friends of mine. Uh, we uh, released a record in February of 2020, right before a big life event happened for this planet. Um, and so we played a few concerts, and then we didn't play any for a really, really long time. Um, and this is our first one back as a band, so it's uh, it's pretty exciting, pretty exciting for me. Uh, it's really nice to be up here with these musicians. I'm going to introduce them quickly, I'm not going to talk very much. Um, but on the drums today, uh, we have Nick Fraser. On the alto saxophone, Matt Warshall. On the piano, Chris Bruton. And a very special guest playing this music for the first time tonight, Kay Murphy on the trumpet. So that first tune was the title, or was the first track off of the record we released, uh, entitled Black Stars. And we're going to carry on with a, a tune that may have caused the pandemic. Um, I wrote this song in 2018, and it's called No Gig Today. 